Hi everyone. I am Pranagaraj, Faculty for Agriculture. In this video, I will discuss about what has been the recent trend of agriculture optional in EPSC. We will see this analysis based on this year paper. At the end of this uh, session, you can able to understand how to cope with the recent trend in the agriculture optional. And I will give you an idea and a suggestion regarding how to prepare for next year mains, 2025 mains. So before we see the analysis, I'm happy to share that this year also more than 70% of the questions directly from our test series. And for the last nine years, uh, it has been more consistent. So regularly from our test series, uh, more number of questions are directly reflected in the EPS exam. And recently, I started one more uh, test series for the 2025 mains. So if you are interested, you can uh, contact on this number for enrollment. And uh, recently, I updated the uh, material. So it's a 2024 edition, a new edition. So this is the most, uh, the best selling and the comprehensive material for agriculture in India. So you can find all the, the PVQs in the material itself. So if you want material, you can uh, contact on this number. So let's see the this year question paper. So this is the number of questions, so the distribution of number of questions based on the, the subject wise. In our uh, paper one, I divided the syllabus into 11 uh, major topics. And you know the exam pattern. Uh, there are uh, two sections in our exam in the UPSC paper, section A and section B. So we have to attempt five questions out of eight questions. So there are four questions in the section A and four questions from the section B. So out of this eight question, we have to attempt five question. So overall uh, five into 50, 250 marks. But there are some conditions. In the section A and section B, one question is compulsory. So question number one and five are compulsory. So apart from the compulsory question, we have to choose one more question. So the pattern is either we can uh, go, go with the two plus three. So two question from the section A, three question from section B, or three plus two. So this is the pattern. So before that, we need to understand, before uh, selecting the question uh, section A and section B, we need to understand what are the topics covered in the section A and section B. So there are uh, totally 11 topics in our uh, the paper one from agriculture. So the topics are environmental science, agronomy and uh, cropping system, cropping pattern, then uh, forestry, weed science, then uh, soil science, nutrient management, irrigation, dryland agriculture and uh, soil and water conservation, extension and the farm management. So these are the 11 topics. So mostly for our uh, section A, uh, the questions are mostly from the, the first four or five topics. So from environmental science, agronomy, forestry, weed science and the soil science. And the remaining topics we can expect question in the section B. But Nutrient management topic is a common topic. So sometimes uh, we can expect question in the section A as well as in the section B. So this is our uh, the pattern. Issue okay, the usual trend in our uh, agri optional. So this year also they followed the same pattern. And mostly the questions from the so this year um, instead of uh, the nutrient management topic, they ask it in the section A itself. So in the section B, they ask it only the question from four topics from irrigation, dryland agriculture and soil and water conservation, extension to farm management. So the weightage is uh, this year uh, very high for those areas. So nearly uh, four questions from the irrigation, uh, four questions from the extension, three questions each from uh, dryland agriculture and farm management. So in the section A, remaining uh, seven subjects in the section A. So this is the distribution of uh, questions and uh, marks. So based on that, based on the number of questions, the marks also very high. The weightage is uh, high for the last four topics. 
ఇరిగేషన్ డ్రైనేజ్ లీజ్ రెండు సలన్ వాటర్ కన్సర్వేషన్ ఎక్స్పెన్స్ రెండు ఫార్మ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ సో దిస్ యూజువల్ ప్యాటర్న్ సో నో చేంజ్ ఇన్ దిస్ ప్యాటర్న్ ఎవరీ ఇయర్ దే ఫాలో ద సేమ్ ప్యాటర్న్ స్లైట్లీ మేబీ ఇన్ సమ్ ఇయర్ ది ఆస్క్ వన్ ఆర్ ఫిఫ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ వన్ ఆర్ టూ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఎక్స్ట్రా ఫ్రమ్ అదర్ ఏరియాస్ బట్ నో మేజర్ చేంజ్ ఇన్ ద ప్యాటర్న్ సో ఇన్ జనరల్ వీ కెన్ ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ అగే ఫ్రమ్ ఆల్ ద టాపిక్స్ వీ కెన్ ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ అట్లీస్ట్ టూ క్వశ్చన్స్ వన్ బిగ్ క్వశ్చన్ అండ్ వన్ షార్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ సో దిస్ కంపల్సరీ ఫ్రమ్ ఎవరీ టాపిక్ but what is the recent trend in our uh, agree to optional so for the last 4 or 5 years they follow one trend the questions are split so the when they split the questions there are advantages and disadvantages so they ask sometimes two three topics in the same question when the questions are split so we get the idea how to approach the question if they ask question like uh, what do you mean by conservation agriculture discuss the principles of conservation agriculture and write about the various practices if the questions are split in this way we get the clear idea how to approach this question we can easily frame the structure so first we can define what is conservation agriculture and then we can discuss the principles one by one then later we can discuss the practices and sometimes they ask questions from two different topics also so from the irrigation sometimes they combine two different topics so one question from the micro irrigation another question from the drainage topic so the advantages are uh, we can able to create the proper structure at the same time when the marks are split so we can able to score high marks because uh, the topics are entirely different so when they split the number of questions more number of questions are coming in the question so we can and the marks are split so automatically there is a chance that we get extra marks but the problem is in this type of question we need to complete the entire syllabus because when the questions are split then there is a chance that they ask all possible question from a particular topic so you will see in the question paper you can see more number of questions so they leave Uh, not a single topic so they try to cover all the topics in the syllabus so this is a major challenge for us so we cannot skip here that's why repeatedly i'm telling that during my class also we cannot even miss a single question okay single topic in the our upsc syllabus so every syllabus is important because the questions are split so this has been the recent trend and another uh, major trend in our epsc recently so for the um, micro topic analysis uh, we need to okay while going through the syllabus uh, we need to cover the entire syllabus okay i told you now so that's why i am always okay i'm uh, recommending you to refer on a comprehensive material for the entire agri optional uh, whether you okay if you are following the standard reference books or you can uh, follow on comprehensive material so in our material that covers the entire syllabus thoroughly so next uh, major trend uh, the micro topic specific questions so here uh, earlier uh, when they ask questions in our uh, mains exam the questions are mostly general and from here particular topic as a whole for example on a common question in the environmental science discuss the applications of remote sensing in agriculture because our syllabus topic advanced tools in agriculture remote sensing and gis this is syllabus topic so from this topic one useful question in our agriculture discuss the various applications of remote sensing in agriculture or discuss the various applications of gis in agriculture this one common question so we can discuss the various applications one by one but recently in this area while studying the applications they ask specific applications so this is what we call it as micro topics for c question so when you study the various applications of remote sensing they particularly ask any two specific applications for example this year they asked about the remote sensing application for the drought monitoring last year they asked about the yield monitoring and soil mapping 
So there are different applications, but if they ask one particular application very specifically, so you need proper content. This is a major challenge because when you, when you in the general question, the overall question, um, we can uh, simply prepare three page answer for by uh, studying two, three points under the each application. But here in this area, to fill up the, the two page answer, only for drought monitoring, you need to write for one page. So this is a major challenge. So we'll preparing answer for any topic. We need to prepare as a whole, the topic as a whole, at the same time, we need to prepare proper answer for uh, separate application, okay? For every uh, separate application, we need to uh, prepare a, a short content, at least for off page or on page content for every application in detail. See one more question. Explain the term irrigation scheduling elaborate the criteria for the IWCP method and the merits and demerits. So again, earlier, if you see the previous question paper, this irrigation scheduling is one of the important topic in the irrigation topic. So the question is mostly the topic as a whole. Discuss the various criteria for irrigation scheduling. So we can discuss the criteria one by one. But here, very specifically, they ask only about the IWCP method. And then uh, see one more question, the various uh, factors affecting soil erosion and uh, particularly agronomic measures for the soil conservation. So we study about uh, mechanical measures, agroestrological measures, forestry measures, and very particularly they ask only about the agronomic measures. So this is a recent trend in our EPSC, the micro topics we see questions. So when you prepare a particular topic, you need to prepare the topic as a whole at the same time. You need to prepare a proper content for even the, the subparts of the question. Then only you can manage these type of questions. And because, okay, some of these questions are 20 marks questions. So for 20 marks, they give three pages in agree optional. So you need to fill up for three pages. And another trend in the VPC recently, the crop specific questions. So usually in our paper one, in the agronomy area, we have a POP, package of practices for various important crop plants. Apart from that, we can expect a crop sushi questions in the weed science. So recently, they're asking a specific question, crop sushi question in the weed science area. So how to control the weeds in the soybean, sorghum, maize. So we need to study the weed winning practices for specifically for those crop plants. So under the weed science topic, mostly we cover in general. So what are the various methods available for various crop plants? But we need to study specifically for individual crop plants, at least for important crop plants. I will tell you the important crop plants in our uh, agronomy area. So mostly the rice, wheat, maize, sorghum, pearl millet, groundnut, soya bean, And then uh, mustard, chickpea, sugarcane, cotton. So these are the important crop plants. At least, okay, for these crop plants, we have to cover the crop specific questions. And one more topic, uh, irrigation. So in the irrigation also, we can expect a crop specific question from the topic irrigation scheduling. So write about the irrigation scheduling for the any particular crop plant. And then again, in the nutrient management topic also, we can expect a crop to see question. So we need to ready for that. So apart from uh, covering the POP, package of practices for various crop plants, we need to prepare crop to see questions for these topics also. In the weed management, irrigation and nutrient management. Then one more topic, uh, forestry. So in the forestry area also, they will ask uh, the forest tree species questions, like a neem tree, a saw, teak, bamboo, Kashurina. So those questions are also possible. And recently there is one more question from okay, the, the irrigation topic, calculation. So I will uh, release a separate video regarding this uh, calculation in, in the irrigation topic. I will explain the calculation. So this is the 
recent pattern our epsc so uh, how to cope with okay, this uh, recent pattern so while uh, studying a particular topic always uh, my suggestion i really am telling my students that you need to cover the entire syllabus so syllabus completion is very important so if you are preparing based on the pvq referring pvq is okay but don't prepare entirely based on pvq first to cover the syllabus and then after covering the syllabus take the pvq and see the how the pattern okay they are asking questions from the particular syllabus this is the correct approach and for the covering the entire syllabus you need to have a proper study material if you are referring my material or uh, some reference books so try to prepare proper short notes for every topic in the syllabus and while approaching the syllabus you need to analyze the micro topic specific areas for example so in my test series actually i am providing this micro topic specific analysis that is okay if you are uh, because in our syllabus they have given just one line so what are the various uh, dimensions possible in the particular area for example in our uh, syllabus in the soil science they have given physical properties of the soil so for the physical properties what are the areas we have to cover we need we should de determine so for the physical properties we have to cover soil structure soil texture soil water soil temperature soil air and again within the soil texture the possible questions sir so what are the properties of the what are the features of the soil texture what are the different classification and the structure so what are the different uh, structural types in it, uh, in the soil classification and then uh, what is the genesis of the soil structure what are the factors affecting it and what is the difference between the soil texture and the structure so you need to analyze in this way to cover the micro topic specific questions and for the crop specific questions i already told you you can uh, refer in the paper one area you can refer the for the weed weed management irrigation and inter management uh, and for forestry you need to prepare at least for important crops so i hope this video will be useful for you thank you